Hey everybody and welcome back to another quest tutorial. Today we're going to be building a cabin in a winter biome. Now coming up on screen are all the materials that we're going to be using. So once you take a look at that, let's go see what we're going to build. As you can see, we're building on this hill. Now I flatten mine out a little just so it's easier to build on. Now these are just the dimensions of the platform that we're gonna be building everything else on. Now that the platform is filled in with dark oak planks, we're going to use cobblestone stairs and make a row all the way around the edge. You guys have flying bouncing fishes in your world too, right? As you'll see on the screen, after we're done with our stairs, we're going to be placing slabs and then on every corner, we're going to be placing a cobblestone block. Now, I thought it would be fun to have these lights just strewn about our hill underneath our platform. This will give it a really cool ambiance at night. Here, all you have to do is follow along with me on the patterns for the corners, and then we'll get to the trap doors that we're going to use for the fencing. The platform is done. Next, we're going to be looking at the dimensions for the building itself. You're going to be seeing where the pillars go and the spacing between each of them. Now, once you're done filling in the entire back wall, we're going to be doing the front pillars, including the entrance pillars, which are nine blocks tall. Once you're done with that, you're going to be making a wall from those entrance pillars to the back walls themselves. Once you're done with all that, you should have a base that looks something like this. Let's go ahead and finish up the entrance and then we can move on to the edges of the roof.
Follow along with me here as we use the same cobblestone to frame our main window. This will give us a really cool centerpiece for our main entrance. Let's go ahead and finish off the roofs for the two wings. Now on to the very top of our cabin. This isn't too hard, so just follow along with me and you'll do great. Here, it's okay if you place one or even multiple blocks on the inside because you won't be able to see them anyways. Ah, the main bones of our building done. Trust me, I know this is a lot of wood, but using these signs on the outside for decoration means everything in the grand scheme of things. Now we can't forget this little old corner in the back here, can we? Now with all those signs finally placed, we can actually start working on our main outside decorations.
guys, we are almost done with the outside. The last thing to do is build a nice fire pit for our guest, and then we can move on to the inside. With any luck, this is what you should have so far. Now we can move ourselves on to the interior. After we're done filling in the rest of these blocks, we're going to put one right in the middle so we can build our chandelier later on. On these two sides, I thought it would be really cool to display the armor that we've used in our past adventures. I think these armor stands look sweet. Next thing we're gonna do is move on to our two main rooms. Now, there's not a whole lot I can say about these rooms, so I'm gonna let you guys listen to the cool, funky, fresh music. Hey, I know that I said I would let you enjoy the music, but I just remembered you guys might notice something different about my video. That is the toolbar is showing. One of my mods isn't working right and I can't make it disappear. But I thought, hey, maybe you guys prefer the toolbar. Maybe you like seeing what I'm using when I'm using it. So tell me down in the comments whether you prefer toolbar or no toolbar. Now we have a ton of space in this main room. Now this is what I came up with for mine, but maybe you want furnaces all the way to the ceiling. This is a great opportunity for you to bring out your creativity.
Now we're finally at that chandelier that I was talking about. Now mine is very simple and straightforward, but you could come up with something crazy and I don't know, fill up the entire space if you wanted to. Now this floor is a little boring just being all brown, so I thought we'd spice it up a little bit by adding a really cool carpet design. <laughs> there you have it guys. I almost got frostbite building this for you, but it was well worth it. Just like always, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on those notifications so you know when all of our future videos are coming out. Now until next time, I'll catch you later.